How's it going, guys? Um, right now I'm in my shed. You see, it's the, it's the chill spot where I chill. But right now I'm gonna make it into my spray booth. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get this uh tank right here, and then I'm gonna hook up a heater for that thing, so I can make it a little booth right here. I'm gonna hang some plastic from up here, just so we can get a good uh, quality spray job, you know. So that's gonna be warming up the whole thing right here. So I don't have to worry about anything else. I'll show you guys what I got here here in a minute. So first things first, I gotta heat it up in here. It is cold. It's probably like 20 degrees. Uh, yes, I will turn it off when I get to painting. It's just to heat it up in here because I don't want it to have a lot of like runs or something like that that I don't dry. So yes, I don't want to have like a fire hazard. You know how like when you mix oil with with sparks like oil based paint you blow up you know what I'm saying see I got my light up there perfect I got the plastic set right here and this is where I'm gonna be spraying that guys just gotta cover that shelf right there in the corner but I got a pretty big space here I just taped the plastic painters plastic all the way around this is still heating everything up right here but I got a pretty big space check that out guys so this is everything I got this is the reducer this is the color match uh, w one quart of clear and this is the hardener I got a couple of <clears throat> measuring cups right here little mixing cups uh, some tiny ones I got a thousand sound paper and 1500 I think so I'm gonna go ahead and sand it with a thousand first and then 1500 Okay, so we brought the bumper inside. It is ready for paint. At least I did what the instructions said, the recommended things to do when painting this bumper. So now I'm just gonna mix up the paint, wait for it to dry a little more, cause I could see a little bit of water drop somewhere, like right there. I'm just gonna wait for it to dry a little more and then we'll just go ahead and wipe it down and put on the first coat This is what it looks like with just the base coat. Alright guys, I just gave it the second coat. I'm just waiting for it to dry a little bit and I'm gonna turn on this heater 
just in about five to ten minutes just so the overspray in the air all that dust don't catch on fire you know because this stuff is really flammable like i don't know if you guys knew that or not but it looks pretty good to me So before I install this bumper, I have to clean these headlights with uh, Meguiar's. Gonna go ahead and polish them, clean them real good. Like, oh my God, what is that? I don't even know, oxidation. <laughs> oh yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this bumper off, clean this, and attach all the new grills and stuff to the other one, and voila, I'll show you guys the end result.